All right, I want to factor the trinomial 24x squared plus 34x plus 12. First step is to factor out the greatest common factor. I'm noticing that each of these three terms have a 2 that could multiply into them. So I factor out 2. So I can rewrite this trinomial as 2 times 12x squared plus 17x plus 6. It's the same trinomial, I just factored the 2 out. So now we have a 2 out front. We have to remember every time we're rewriting this, we'll have to have that 2 multiplied out front. The next step, I'm going to factor this trinomial. Notice here that a equals 12, b equals 17, and c equals 6. I need to find a times c. So I have 12 times 6, which is 72. I found a times c. Now I need to find two numbers that multiply to 72 and at the same time add to the middle term 17. To find that set of numbers, I'm going to take 72 and think about all the ways I can multiply to 72 using two integers. I'll start with 1. 1 times 72 makes 72. How about 2? 2 times 36 makes 72. 3 times 24. 4 times 18. 5 doesn't multiply into 72 evenly, but 6 times 12 7 doesn't multiply into 72 evenly, but 8 times 9 does. Notice if I continue this list, I would get 9 next, but then I would start repeating myself. I'd have 9 times 8, which I already have on the list. So here are all the ways I can multiply to 72 using our integer, positive integers. I need to find two numbers that multiply to 72, but at the same time add to 70, 17. And notice, the only two numbers that do that on the list is 8 and 9. So those are my two numbers, 8 and 9. All right, now I'm going to make a table. My original trinomial was 12x squared plus 17x plus 6. I'm going to create a table with four pieces. The leading term is 12x squared. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the top pieces of my table, 12x and 12x. I just copy it. Instead of 12x squared, I write 12x, 12x. Now I know 12x times 12x is not 12x squared, but what we do is we just copy that leading term. Instead of 12x squared, we write 12x. And then I take these two numbers that I selected, 8 and 9. I put the 8 in one piece, and I put the 9 in the other piece of the table. Now with this table, I'm going to think of 12x over 8 as a fraction. Okay, just picture that as the fraction, 12 eighths. And we want to simplify that fraction, 12 eighths. If you wanted to simplify this fraction, you think, well, 4 goes into 12 and 4 goes into 8. 4 goes into 12x to make 3x. 4 goes into 8 to make 2. So one of the factors is 3x plus 2. Similarly, over here on the right side, I'm going to think of this as the fraction 12 ninths, and I'm going to simplify that. 3 goes into 12, and 3 goes into 9. 3 goes into 12 4 times, so 12x simplifies down to 4x. 3 goes into 9 3 times, leaving 4x and 3. So the other factor is 4x plus 3. All right, now notice when you multiply this out using FOIL, you actually get back 12x squared plus 9x plus 8x plus 6, which is 12x squared plus 17x plus 6, which is exactly what we started with. So I just did a little check there to find that this really is the same as the original trinomial we started with. So the original trinomial was 24x squared plus 34x plus 12. 
and it factors as 2 times 3x plus 2 times 4x plus 3. This is the expanded version of that polynomial, and this is the factored version of that polynomial. All right, let's do it again. I want to factor the trinomial 48x squared plus 6x minus 9. First, I factor out the greatest common factor, and this time I see that there is a 3 in common. So I factor out a 3 out of the entire trinomial, out of each of the three terms. So when I pull a 3 out of 48, I get 16, so I have 16x squared. I pull a 3 out of the 6, leaving 2x, and I pull a 3 out of the 9. Oops. I pull a 3 out of the 9, leaving minus 3. All right, now I need to consider factoring this trinomial 16x squared plus 2x minus 3. Notice again, a is 16, b is 2, c is negative 3. I need to find a times c, which is 16 times negative 3, which is negative 48. I need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 48 and at the same time add up to the middle term 2. So I'm going to take that number 48 off to the side and think of all the ways I can multiply to 48 with positive integers. 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3 times 16, 4 times 12, 5 doesn't multiply evenly into 48. 6 times 8, 7 doesn't multiply evenly into 48, so I'm done. And I try to find the numbers on the list that I could make multiply to negative 48 and add up to 2. Now notice, if I apply negatives correctly, I could get the 6 and the 8 to do just that. If I make it negative 6 and positive 8, then those numbers would multiply to negative 48 and add up to positive 2. Now I make my table. Remember the original function was 16x squared plus 2x minus 3. In the top of the table I write 16x, 16x. In the bottom of the table I write the two numbers that I just selected, negative 6 and 8. And now I simplify these fractions down. 16x over negative 6. I can multiply a 2 into both of those, so I pull a 2 out of the 16, leaving 8x, and pull a 2 out of the negative 6, leaving minus 3. So one of the factors is 8x minus 3. 16x over 8. Simplifying that down, I pull an 8 out of the 16 and an 8 out of the 8. When you pull 8 out of 16, you're left with the 2x, and when you pull the 8 out of 8, you're left with 1. So the factor is 2x plus 1. And so finally, 48x squared plus 6x minus 9, which was our original trinomial, we had factored out a 3 out front, and then we multiply by 8x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. This is the expanded version of this polynomial, and this is the factored version of the polynomial.